Hello, uh, I'm gonna show you how to use Arteo Studio Toolkit for boxes. The easiest way is go to Windows, uh, ESCO Artwork Studio Toolkit for boxes, create basic box. Uh, we can choose the wide of the box, let's say 50 millimeters uh, or 10, uh, height 20 and depth uh, 30. Then we can add uh, the parts we want. Uh, we're gonna choose this one, uh, the basic, uh, and click next. It shows uh, how it folds, how it looks like. Then we can save it. Uh, it saves as IRD file, which is Arceo's cat file. Uh, it saves uh, in uh, other layer and creates a layout which we can use. Uh, and as you can see it automatically added flaps the places where the box can be glued now let's create a new file and we'll try some other things to make our own box design so we choose a rectangle tool uh, we're gonna draw a rectangle which will be about uh, let's say 50 and 50 millimeters then we can add another one which is uh, 75 and 50 uh, we can add another one 50 50 again and another one which also 75 50 then we add another one other parts uh, sides of the box is let's say also 50 and 50 millimeters and another one somewhere around here uh, also 50 and 50 millimeters uh, we have to align them perfectly there won't be any gaps in the lines uh, we're gonna select it all uh, choose a path of finder uh, command uh, outline to the stroke let's give a color black and as you can see it's one object grouped object and uh, go to object and group then you can select different parts of uh, our object and we're gonna need this to make our own layout so let's say select the outlining of our object the outside lines and let's go to Windows, ESCO Studio Toolkit for Boxes and View Fold Window and we're gonna select those lines as cut lines, it makes them black and let's select inside lines and select Crease, it makes them automatically red lines then we can select all, check there is no errors, no, no spaces and let's see the fold we get back to the this window where we can see our box. We have to choose the basic part, the base panel of the box, which is going to be the bottom. Then we can select the paper, the cotton, the board we're going to use, and then we can see how it folds. We can do it a few ways. We can uh, select all lines and add 90 degrees to them, and it folds. As we can see, there is uh, gaps. Uh, we made a mistake, so that's not a problem. We can change that. Another way to fold the box is to just click with the mouse on the fold line and enter the degrees we want to. Let's say 90. We're gonna do the same with all, just selecting one by one. And you will see that it's the same that uh, what select all. You also can select two lines by holding Shift key. So as I said before, we made an, a mistake and there is a gap in our box. So we don't save now, we cancel, 
and we're gonna change it so we're gonna change this part to from 50 of height to 75 and align it again perfectly then we're gonna select the, the top part also change the height to 75 So align perfectly, and we're gonna select again. Check for the errors. No errors. Hold. Check the base panel, the paper, and it folds again. Now we can try again to fold our box. Select our lines, 90 degrees, and as we can see, it folds perfectly. No gaps. We're still not gonna use this one because uh, all right. Let's select some line and let's try to make that open box. Let's say do the forty-five degrees, and we can see that how our box looks when it's open. So we're not gonna save this file. Uh, Uh, because we don't have our flops, we have to add them manually and we can add them whatever we want. Uh, let's select line tool and add the lines, which is 9 and again 9 millimeters and just connect to the 75 again. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to select them and make them as a. Right, first, let's make this. It looks more cool. Uh, it gives some space when folding the box. It's good. Mm, the one part is uh, strictly 90 degrees, so it gives the Fitness power box and other part is a bit angled. It's easier to fold. Uh, we select both of the flop lines. Um, we select them as a uh, cut lines. Select the inside lines. Make them crease lines. And then check again. Select all. Check again. It's good. No gaps. The base of the and we can see our uh, folding box again. This time we're gonna fold manually, just selecting line by line, adding degrees, and we will see how it folds and where goes the flaps. <laughs> so every line we're gonna give 90 degrees, so we're gonna have a perfect uh, fully folded box. Now we gonna do the flops. Also 90 degrees. And the uh, sides of the box also 90 degrees. And you can see it's folded. Uh, you see the flops is on top. Uh, I don't know why it happens. It always do like that. So we just need to give some let's say 92 degrees and it gets inside it's just some small error so now we can save it this IRD file again which saves in uh, IRD format and it saves in a different layer and now we can't modify this layer let's say this is our final uh, Look of the box. Now we can add some basic uh, design stuff. I'm gonna do this ellipse things on it, and we'll show you how it looks with things on the box by using uh, Studio Visualizer. So let's make some of those.
Alright, uh, now let's change some colors. Change some more colors. Just basically to give you an idea of how, how it looks. As you see, there's some on a fold lines, some parts. Uh, so we're gonna go to our just cat file. I will look at so it doesn't show the design, it only shows uh, how it folds our box. So that's why we need to use RTO Studio Visualizer. Um, it's always nice to save uh, all the things you do in a different layers. So let's save as PDF or export. It's, it doesn't actually uh, even care. Just need a PDF file with different layers. So there is our PDF. We're gonna do the basic stuff. We're not gonna change anything. And then we're gonna go to our studio visualizer. And it's in the bottom, I guess. Mm -hmm. And studio visualizer. This program is easy to use. You just, if you want to open the file, just drag and drop. The easiest way. It loads it. Yes. We're gonna use the basic settings, and we can see how it looks folded. So you can explore this program by yourself. There is also some main changes can be done in this program. So that's it. And thank you. Good luck.